Hello everybody and welcome back to I Should Be In Bed, it's Mass Effect 1 Legendary Edition. I also just realized that I just recorded the entire last episode on my laptop mic, which means you may not even be able to hear me because I'm far away from my laptop. Uh, but I'm pretty sure I saw audio waves, because uh, I keep, you know, audacity up so I can see. Anyway. <laughs> uh, I had switched my microphone to the different computer to talk with people. And then I came back. Anyway, I should be in bed, but I'm not because I want to play this game some more. I did a little bit of um, inventory management just now. But I really want to get somebody else out on the squad with me. Oh, I looked at the, uh, hang on. I looked at the missions. Or actually, I mean, we really don't have a ton left right now. I think we'll get more as we go, but... Investigate shipments in the Amazon sister in the Squad Voyager cluster. Uh, but I really want to get the achievement with somebody else. You know what I mean? <laughs> I want to get someone else's achievement as well. While I'm thinking of it. So the Voyager, where was it? The other thing too is when we're like when we when we end up, when we end up having to run around and like scanning individual systems for minerals, you stumble upon stumble upon quests. Like every almost every time you enter a system, Commander, hack it. Incoming signal from Fifth Fleet HQ on the Citadel. Uh, Commander Shepard, something uncomfortable has just come up. Yeah. In the first contact war, we fired a lot of espionage probes into Turian space. We just received a mission complete burst from one of them. Where's it been in the meantime? No idea. Lost in transit. These probes were built in a hurry after first contact. What makes this uncomfortable? When these probes were launched, we didn't have any idea who we were fighting. We didn't want to risk aliens examining our technology. The probe has a demo nuke built in. A nuke? A 20 kiloton tactical fusion warhead. About equal to the bomb dropped on Hiroshima back in the 20th. If somebody finds that probe, tampers with it. You don't need me to finish, Commander. I mean, it is... It was, I guess a part of me is like... Shouldn't a bomb disposal unit be sent for this? We don't have anyone trained in that. I know. I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. These probes have been classified for 26 years. The Council will call fusion bomb booby traps dangerous and irresponsible. The Alliance would face censure if they find this probe. I'm asking you because the Normandy can get on site quickly and quietly. It's in the Voyager Oh, cluster. wow, crazy. It's like I... It's like I... It's like I'm already here. But like I said, when you wander into different systems, Hackett likes to call you up and say, Hey, what up? And I'm like, nah. It's in the Voyager cluster. That's the opposite side of the Alliance from Turian space. How did it get there? I don't know. It's possible someone recovered it safely and brought it there. It's also possible it got very badly lost. It could have been wandering the relay network since the war. Just We just have random nukes that are apparently wandering the galaxy. Like, yeah, it was, I mean, I see why they did it, but it, and it is like, you can't really get like, like the council can't maybe censure them too badly because it was like, before they really knew anything about the galaxy, before humans knew anything about the wider galaxy. But it does seem very crude and, like, barbaric to, like, have nuclear booby traps on your probes, you know? So, yeah, they'd be like, oh, it's just more errors. The humans aren't ready, you know? We'll get on it immediately, Admiral. And we'll be discreet. But we don't have a bomb. I appreciate that, Commander. We don't Good luck. What do you want to see you? Fifth fleet out. Let me just take one of my random technicians, or seven of them, and see how it goes, and <laughs> see who, who can get it to disarm without blowing everything up. Hey, look at that. 
Ag Agabinium is awesome looking. It's the smallest terrestrial world with an extremely thin atmosphere of carbon dioxide and krypton. Uh, it's uh, the Amazon is a long, period, variable star, variable star, currently the data of a 16-year cycle. At its peak, its energy output doubles, lashing the agabinum with intense heat. La la la. I got a scared burst. Um. Arid, like Mars, gravity wells deep enough has captured nearly a dozen small satellites. Impact, the surface has impacted oh, many large craters. La la la. I'm losing it. Sonodema. Sonodema. It's a super terrestrial world. It's considerably less dense than its neighbor Dernuka and has an atmosphere of carbon dioxide and ethane. Frozen surface is mainly composed of by. Here we go. Rare element. Nice. Sibin. Turian insignia, yay! With help of Navigator Presley, your recon team recovers a small MM probe with the quantum outpost insignia. Uh, has serpent. Oh, serpentine! A mineral formed by volcanic activity. Yeah. I've been doing a lot of geological reading lately. Hmm, that's true. <laughs> uh, what that said was true. I need to stand. Oh, it's straightforward for some reason. Gas deposit. Nice. This plant, this system was great. I can't believe we can land so. We get so close to the sun. It's actually wild. Okay, so I do have the achievement with Caden, but what I don't have is the neural shock achievement, which I think he's the only one who has that. Ability. Mm -hmm. What are we going to encounter down there? I don't know. Thing. Plus, we get Garrus's um, ally achievement. Since apparently I can do them all in one playthrough now. Anyways, so even when it's close, it's like uh, it doesn't want to. Oh my gosh, hang up, hang up, hang up, hang up. Uh, okay, that's a dope picture just right there. did uh, my original Mass Effect playthrough, I would zoom in with the missile launcher, and that would be my, uh, my thumbnail for the video sometimes. Look at this. This is, like, this is actually so cool. I could probably, oops, I could probably be way more adventuresome. Get me out. Let's check the map. Alliance homing beacon debris anomaly. Let's check out the anomaly first. I like to try to get everything else besides the main thing on the planet because sometimes you get some clues. Although finding the clues afterwards is also like kind of works, right? We're like, we're like, oh geez, and you have this like you get run into like a trap or whatever, and you deal with it, and then afterwards when you're exploring around. And, in the vicinity, you're like, oh, here's a note that would have told me that about that trap or whatever. Oh, nearly. Oh. Oh no, I might have to find. I might have to go the other way. Oh, I totally forgot. Oh, jeez. Oh, 
boy, oh my. Garrus leveled up. Like he was only missing four points. I took him out for I mean, yeah, I remember now taking him out, but because he has the yellow armor. But for what purpose? <laughs> Alright, bud, sorry. Yeah, does it does it, it doesn't match his, his face paint. Nagi-Natas, holy cow. POV about to get crushed by the Mago. No, I can't do it the way I want to. That's okay. Uh, Brushing away the carbonization of the door of the counter gravi counter gravity speeder. You see the Nizzo name brand, judging by the charring. The wreckage has been here since the star's last burial peak. The corpse is wearing the remains of an expensive suit and what appears to be melted antique aviator goggles. Okay. Uh, this is uh, this is some sort of inside joke or like Easter egg. And I don't oh, I should be quieter. I don't know what what it's from, I can't remember. Somebody told me once I think it was a series I hadn't seen before. That moon is, or the moon's The sun is dope. I'm not used to seeing the sun be so close. Usually it's the moons that are closer. Well, I'll try to look up what that's, uh, what's that an inside joke for? An Easter egg for? I am more tired than I thought. I just want to play this video game. Oh, what? What did I? Oh, I ran over a skeleton or a body. Securing point. I'm so sorry, corpse. Terrain insignia. In the body's book of drawings, including one of the Sigler outposts insignia. It's a long way. Body's a long way from anything. Uh, it's so. It's like sad, but also like curious. Like, what, what were you doing out here? Like, what, like somebody who was maybe a soldier who all they wanted to be was like an artist and they had this book of drawings or something, you know? Or, you know, maybe it was just something they did to like help, you know, pass the time. Or maybe they were just an artist and they just, you know, were affiliated with a certain, you know, clan or group through birth or whatever. All that's left of them now is a corpse and some drawings. I hope we take care of them when we find them, you know. Give them a proper burial. I feel like I remember this. Moving out. No, it wasn't this planet. 
No, I think it is actually. Oh my gosh, I think it is. I think I know what this is, potentially. This could be tied into my backstory. Oh, I couldn't go, I missed that. No, I didn't want to do it that way. Okay, it's good. Yeah, this might be tied into the old backstory. Come on, Mako. I don't know, there's, there's nothing at the place where I... Oh, just... It was slightly off. Um... Alliance Homing Beacon. I think... I didn't think it was this planet though, like not this harsh of a planet where you get you run into the you run into the guy I'm thinking of who's like a guy in your past who's like really bitter. Only if you do the hero background. You still run into him anyway, but he doesn't hate you with quite the same fervor. Wow. <laughs> I think he knows that this is how he's gonna draw in somebody specifically. Mine shaft. That's the source of the signal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Suspicious. I agree. This thing didn't crash. Somebody moved it here. There's a nuclear weapon down there. We can't abandon it. Just stay on guard. Affirmative. Caden's the one in this squad who would potentially be more of the engineer type, I guess. But, uh, probably both of them together could do something. They're both engineer types. Ish. Yeah. This is what I think it is. But I didn't think it was on this planet. I do a red planet, you know? Like, so bright and harsh. At least I'm 90% sure I'm correct. It's a trap! This is the one, though, I think, where the trap doesn't get sprung until you're too far in. But we did see that, that entrance outside. Which is what made me think this is what I think it is. Oh, <laughs> that was a detonator. <laughs> Shepard, at last. Wait, what? You have me at a disadvantage. You don't remember me. <laughs> no matter. I remember you. I never forget anyone I fought. My name is Ilanos Heliot. I doubt you know it. Who do you think runs the Terminus what? Clan, Shepard, huh? Thousands of pirates, slavers, criminals of every stripe? This is what I thought it was, but th I swear the guy was human last time. Was this one of those things where, like, he was supposed to be Turian or something? And, like, his voice, I, like, I don't know. But I swear the guy that I'm thinking of was a human. Like, yeah, this is the guy that runs the Terminus gangs, and he's the reason that the Blitz happened. Um, or the... The planet that I saved. Uh, and, like, held off the Terminus gangs for, like, three days or whatever. Um, this is the guy that was running it. In most criminal organizations, it's the one who's recognized as the most successful. That's correct. The one who kills the most men, seizes the most ships, pillages the most colonies. Three years ago, I was the strongest. I used my influence to assemble a fleet. We would drive your kind out of the verge. The Blitz. You're the one behind the attack on Elysium. I was the motivator, the instigator. The one who promised glory and riches for sacking the largest human colony in the cluster. The one blamed when it failed. Failed 
failed because of you. Your damnable holding action. I swear this guy was human in the previous one. Unless he was supposed to be Turian. Because it wasn't a, it wasn't like about like a your kind thing. It was just like the guy before, I swear, he just wanted like the prestige of it, you know, because he was human. He wasn't necessarily like trying to push humans out. He just wanted like the booty, you know, and the prestige of attacking such a large, you know, colony. My crew will come for me. Oh, let them. We'll be ready. An Alliance warship would make a fine prize. Oh. And if you haven't noticed, the ores here are laced with heavy metals. I'm afraid your suit radios aren't powerful enough to transmit out. We'll find a way out of here. <laughs> I rather doubt that. Goodbye, Shepard. Orders, Commander. I'm feeling less uh, charitable. I've done more middling ones than, than Paragon ones. We've got air and light and the Normandy's still in orbit. Let's look for another way out. There's no time to get out. Disable the bomb before it goes off. Oh no! It's like oh, I have to manually disable it. That sucks. It's okay. Apparently, I'm the only one. Oh jeez. Oh. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh no. What? What? I. What? 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 I... What? I disabled it! <laughs> Did I? <laughs> Am I seeing things? Am I hallucinating? Do I have to go through that whole thing all over again? Oh. Anyway... Dang! What the heck was that? Shepard, you need to work out more. This is all it takes. Anyway, he's like, you'll never get out, but that's the other door out that leads to that hole that the other door that we saw outside on the other side. You'll never escape except we left a back door. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, geez, there's multiples. Okay, I was like, what the heck? Like, what's the problem here? Oh, geez. Uh, let's we'll pretend it was Caden or Garrus, because I have no technical skills whatsoever. Maybe I read up on bomb, like on, on bomb enough diffusion, but like bomb disabling on the way here. Hackett's like, "Hey, you guys gotta go do that." I'm like, "We don't have anybody trained in that." And he's like, "I just, I just really need you to do it. There's nobody else who could do it. It's super top secret." I'm like, "Then send me somebody who could do a bomb squad thing." Like, what, what's your, what is your problem? <laughs> We're sneaky and stealthy and can get there fast, but it doesn't mean we can do anything once we get here because we don't have anybody trained. Although we will see later on in the game that it's got to be either Caden or Ashley that has to defuse a big bomb. And uh, I usually pick Caden because he's the one with technical skills. Ashley just hit it with a hammer. see this is where we pull out the sniper see if Garrus can't pull out the old sniper rifle I shouldn't be trying to kill a Turian first or a Krogan we could call for help right now, technically. We are outside and could call the Normandy for help to just like blast these guys into a movie. This is absolutely ridiculous. You guys have a stupid amount of help.
So that's why you're supposed to run down before getting their attention. Oh my freaking gosh, I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna lose it. Oh my gosh, so dumb. This is so dumb. Please, why doesn't it auto save when I leave? Yeah, something it's hard to tell, but yeah, this is this is our Mako. So if we can get into it, we can wreck everybody's day. They're like, oh, what a what a lovely prize! I'm like, hey, hey sucker, you brought the most powerful weapon to this fight. How am I not hitting you? trouble to draw you here, but he ended like this. For him, at least, now that you're above ground, your suit radio has re-established connection with the Normandy. Time to get the heck out of here. Maybe we didn't call the Normandy in because we're like, we want to handle this personally, you know? Like, the guy, like, he, I, I could see somebody doing that, right? Like, all in a rage, like, no! And they, like, run up and, like, I don't know, like, totally lose their minds and just, like, try to, like, punch your machine to death. Little do they know. Little do they know. Um, I actually don't know what I was going to say. Um, I might fin- well, maybe we'll do like one more side quest and then we'll hop into the next main mission at Novaria. Um, Oh, I think I was going to say is I don't know how long this episode is going to be because I kept, oh, I kept having to edit out and everything. <laughs> oh, but it might be a little bit short, but I should probably go to bed. It's not even that late. I mean, it's like 11.30, but I'm just, I'm exhausted. So this is the time of the video where I thank my patrons. And I just hope I don't embarrass us all. But thank you so much to Reese Galito, uh, a sapling patron who I very much appreciate, who's uh, the whole overall goal is to try to help me survive the winter and or be able to get to a hotel every so often so that I can record extra videos, not just Mass Effect videos. Um, and, and thank you to Scalamonger, who is also a sapling, my eyes are closed right now, <laughs> who is also a sapling patron. Um, I sincerely appreciate all your help and your con I know Scalamonger I know definitely comments um I don't know if Riscalito does and under a different name I apologize if I don't know that anyway I appreciate you for your donations and for your comments and a super big thank you to Christopher who is a tree tier patron who also comments on like every video I don't know if that's weird maybe I shouldn't like point out people comment or not but it makes me happy um, and I like responding and um, and people always have funny little stories or just like they pick out interesting things that have happened so I I enjoy that so thank you again to Reese Galito Scalamonger and Christopher so so much my eyes are literally closed as I say this because I'm falling asleep but thank you guys again and thank you everybody else for watching I sincerely appreciate your support just watching and like hanging out and maybe you know doing whatever you feel like doing it's super great. So thank you guys again, and I hope to see you in the next one.